Hi, welcome to MTPK channel. On Windows PC, which hypervisor do you usually use? VMware or VirtualBox? In this video, I will introduce you to the commonly used Kimu hypervisor on Linux. Because Kimu is optimized for Linux operating system. First, you go to Kimu.org and download the latest installation for Windows operating system. Try to experience Kimu hypervisor on Windows PC and compare it with hypervisors like VMware or VirtualBox. By default, Kimu works using the command line, so you need another software to get the graphical interface. It's Kimu. Kimu will provide you graphical interface for Kimu hypervisor on Windows operating system. After the installation is complete, navigate to the installation folder called Kimu in the C partition on your computer. You can bring Timu's shortcut to the desktop to make it easier to manage virtual machines. I'll change the name so it's easy to remember. You will get a simple graphical interface and few functions. Next, set the path to the Kimu installation directory. By default, Kimu after installation is stored in the Program Files folder of the Windows operating system. Next you set the path to the Kimu IMG eggs file. See Program Files Kimu Kimu IMG eggs. Next you create a folder to save the virtual machines of the Kimu hypervisor. Here I create a new folder called Kimu VM on the desktop for you to easily follow. Thus I have completed the connection between Kimu hypervisor and QTEMU. Let's create a new virtual machine with Kimu hypervisor. I will create a new virtual machine running the Debian operating system. With a list of operating systems showing you can create virtual machines for both Windows operating systems. Next is setting up the processor, graphics, sound and network. I will choose a processor suitable for my computer and the rest of the settings I choose default. Next is to set up the RAM for the virtual machine. I set up 4GB of RAM for this virtual machine. With the hard drive I set the size to 20 gigabytes. The default hard drive type I choose is COW2, this setting you will not see in VMware and VirtualBox hypervisor. Having created the new virtual machine, I try to start the virtual machine. After 3 tries, the virtual machine still can't start, the reason is why you should continue watching. According to the instructions on Kimu's homepage, you need to install additional HAXM for Windows operating system. I followed the steps as follows. First check if virtualization technology is enabled on your BIOS or UEFI. I have enabled virtualization on my computer because I used VMware before. Turn Windows features on or off. Next is to disable Hyper-V on Windows operating system. Need to make sure Hyper-V is disabled as instructed. So my computer has definitely disabled Hyper-V. Next I will download and install Hacks. There are two versions of Hacks, one for Mac OS, one for Windows. Of course I have to download the installation for Windows operating system. After downloading, extract and start the installation. 
The installation is quite easy, you just need to click next twice and finally click finish. With the installation of HAXM whether our virtual machine can boot or not, or try it. Go back to Kimu Hypervisor and start the virtual machine. Congratulations virtual machine has successfully started. But can't install Debian operating system on the virtual machine, simply because I have not added the installer to this virtual machine. Set the boot order of the virtual machine. The virtual machine will boot from the first CD and DVD. Next I added the Debian OS installer. I have prepared a Debian installer, it's an ISO. Having added the OS installation ISO file, I will start the virtual machine one more time. An installation screen appears and I will install Debian 11 for the virtual machine. The installation steps are the same as when installing on other hypervisors like VMware or VirtualBox. So I'll fast forward so you don't have to wait too long. As I observe the installation process is slower than other hypervisors. Virtual machines also run slower than other hypervisors. In my opinion, the Kimu hypervisor is not optimized for Windows operating systems and is only suitable for operating systems with low hardware requirements. The graphical interface is simple and functional. If you have a way to optimize Kimu hypervisor on Windows, please leave a comment. Thank you for watching and experiencing with me Kimu hypervisor on Windows PC.